you might think you have a decent idea of what whales are and what they look like. Well, it's time for us to do what we do and blow your expectations out of the water. There are some whales out there that are even crazier than you might have ever thought they could be. These are whales you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Blue Whales You've almost definitely heard of the blue whale, but that doesn't mean that you know everything, so calm down. This is not only the largest animal on the planet today, but it's also the largest animal that has ever lived on our planet. Ever. Even the dinosaurs and basketball players were tiny by comparison. Despite their impressive size, the blue whale is pretty unthreatening to most. Its diet consists entirely of small marine creatures like krill, of which it consumes up to 36,000 kilograms or 79,000 pounds per day. That's more than some humans eat in a long time. Even when it comes to their size, these animals are breaking all the rules. For an animal this size, the way that it moves is nothing short of elegant. Generally, they can be found cruising the ocean at around 5 miles per hour, but in the right circumstances, you can find them reaching speeds of over 18 and a half miles per hour. Whew, I'm just winded thinking about it. As the biggest animal on Earth, blue whales obviously have very few predators. But that doesn't mean they're not attacked. Sharks, of course, like to take any opportunity that they get, as do killer whales. But one of the biggest causes of death for blue whales? Hit by a boat. Look both ways, kids, even underwater. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Beached whale. Take a look at this image and tell me what you see. It's a beached whale on the western coast of the Philippines, filled with plastic trash and other pollutants. Only, it isn't. While it seems that way at first glance, this is actually just a really impressive sculpture designed to make you think. Did it work? You tell me. The sculpture was created by the environmental group NGO. Greenpeace Philippines, with a very clear purpose, to inform the public and those in charge just how dangerous the situation is in the ocean, from plastic pollution and other debris. The problem of plastic pollution is massive, and um, something has to be done uh, right now. And it turned out pretty well. The petition hits its goal incredibly quickly, and the sculpture itself turned into a viral success, all but guaranteeing that the message would get out around the world. While it's unlikely that Philippine officials would take any bold stance against ocean pollution, after all, what country has? This is a great way to raise awareness about the issue. Not a bad result for a trash sculpture. Wait, I mean a sculpture made of trash, obviously. Number 13. Rousseau's Dolphin While you may never have seen one in the flesh, Rousseau's dolphins are pretty popular in the world of cartoons. Something about their unique shape makes them look charming and likable. And honestly, I can't really argue with that. They're kind of cute. The Rousseau's dolphin usually reaches a length of between 8.5 and, and 13 feet long, and weigh up to 1,100 pounds. They're also usually covered with scars and scratches due to teeth raking between dolphins, predator attacks, and the occasional marking from their chosen prey, like squid. We're kind of lucky in that way. Our preferred prey, example sandwiches, can't bite back. Yet, let's hope they don't develop that technology. Despite all of what I just said, few people get to see a Rousseau's dolphin up close because this is an animal that thrives in the deep, offshore waters. There they dive for over 1,000 feet and can stay down there for 30 minutes without needing to catch a breath. I could go on describing some of the more unusual aspects of the Rousseau's dolphin, but we don't have time. All you need to know is that this is definitely one of the more unusual cetaceans you could hope to find out in the wild. But please, if any scientists are listening, do not make my sandwich bite me. Thank you in advance. Number 12. Bottlenose Dolphin 
We are incredibly lucky to live alongside such an incredible and intelligent animal as the bottlenose dolphin. This cetacean is easily one of the smartest and most lovable animals you can find anywhere on Earth. And when you discover their lifestyle, they become even more incredible. The bottlenose dolphin is actually a lot like humans. <laughs> I don't mean they're underwater hosting hot dog eating contests, but they do pretty much all the things that humans do. These are highly social creatures, which form friendships that last for decades. When they bond and have fun with their friends, these animals become protective of one another. Sound familiar? Of course, they're not entirely like humans. Dolphins can swim up to 22 miles an hour, whereas your average human can't get off the couch in that time. But the point is that we don't really give the bottlenose dolphin credit for the incredible bonds and family loyalty that they have toward one another. Currently, the bottlenose dolphin is having something of a problem with ocean pollution. When humans leave their junk on the beach, it gets washed out, and the dolphins inevitably suffer. But if given the chance to a life uninterrupted by a plastic yo-yo, these are some of the most extraordinary animals anywhere in the world. Number 11. Humpback Whale It's during this topic that I would like to announce my forthcoming play, The Humpback of Notre Dame. It's about the efforts of a humpback whale who wants to join the choir. Unfortunately, he's too big to enter the building. It's a moving tale of determination and pluck in the face of adversity. Okay, obviously that's a joke. No theater has responded yet, but there is some truth in it. The humpback whale is a huge, huge animal, about the size of a school bus. That's famous for its haunting, melodic singing ability. The humpback whale is capable of making the most unusual music of any animal in the world. While pulling off, some of the most breathtaking marine acrobatics since Tom Cruise last took a swim. To pull off these kind of graceful gymnastic moves at 60 feet long is not just impressive. It's a physics miracle. The humpback whale is obviously not the biggest in the world. That honor goes to the blue whale, but they are definitely up there as one of the most fascinating. I don't know a lot about the underwater world, but I'm not sure it's quite as musical as Disney claims it is, which only makes the humpback whale crooner credentials all the more impressive. Number 10. Bowhead Whale By now, I'm sure you've gotten the point that whales are, more often than not, huge creatures. Well, here's another one for you. The Bowhead Whale is the fifth largest mammal in the world, capable of growing up to 60 feet in length and weighing up to 200,000 pounds. There's no question. These guys would wipe the floor with the other participants in a pie-eating contest. Not only is the bowhead one of the largest animals on the planet, but they're also one of the oldest. In 2007, one specimen was recovered with a harpoon point buried into its 20-something inch blubber. When experts studied the find, they found out that this thing dated back to 1880, making this particular whale over 130 years old. Now experts are claiming that the oldest living bowhead could be 200 years old. I'd like to see a 200-year-old whale take on the young whippersnappers in a pie-eating contest. I'll say that for free. The bowhead whale lives primarily in the Arctic seas, spending the majority of their time under the sea ice. Against all the odds, they've evolved to handle this kind of hostile environment incredibly well. Their blubber alone can measure up to 29 inches in thickness. So now, we have the world's largest, oldest, and thickest contestant for my interspecies pie-eating contest. I'll take that bet. Number 9. Beluga Whale Where do I even begin with the beluga whale? This is an animal that is incredibly recognizable, thanks to its unique coloring and a head described by experts as globular. That, to me, sounds like a hell of an insult. But I'm not here to critique the way experts discuss their animals. Of all the whales in the world, the beluga is definitely one of the more sociable. These animals travel in pods, often visible in their hundreds by tourists or visitors out on the water, which of course makes for a beautiful story or sponsored Instagram post. <laughs> Put your arm around her.
In fact, these animals are so friendly that in 2009, one captive beluga helped a distressed diver in a free diving competition by nudging her back to the surface. How sweet is that? Like many whales, the beluga is capable of diving for an extraordinary period. They can travel to depths of over half a mile, and their dives can last anywhere up to 25 minutes without breaching the surface. There's no question that the beluga whale is one of the most recognizable and friendly whales on our planet. There's also a lot of things we didn't get to, including the fact that this whale can change the shape of its own head. But you know what? I refuse to rush through such an important evolutionary development. Number 8. Southern Right Whale for reasons that I can't possibly speculate on, it seems that cetaceans, like whales and dolphins, really like humans. Which is kind of wild, because even humans don't like humans. The southern right whale is one of the many underwater animals that can be incredibly playful and curious towards us. Maybe we should just be grateful that there's something out there that likes us. It seems like every whale in the world gets this honor. But the southern right back whale is one of the largest whales on the planet. To be fair, since they measure between 42 and a half feet to 50 feet in length, that's not entirely inaccurate. But these whales have a unique trait that does make them surprisingly similar to humans. We, of course, have fingerprints that are genetically tied to each and every one of us. Of course, the southern right whale has a similar thing on its skin. These unusual calluses can identify every single whale as an individual and unique being, so there's no crime unsolved by the whale community. There's a lot to talk about with the southern right whale, and a lot we haven't gotten to. But thankfully, so we'll probably get there eventually, unless they uh, turn on us. Number 7. Bride's Whale Hidden in the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans lies the Bride's Whale, a medium-sized whale belonging to the Rorquals, the largest group of baleen whales. Some whales spend their lives traveling from one place to the next. The Bride's Whale is one of many tropical whales that spend their entire life in the same habitat. They can't mess with a good thing, I guess. The Bride's Whale can measure anywhere between 40 and 55 feet in length, and weigh up to 90,000 pounds. Their diet is filled with krill, and cephalopods, and fish, and they're capable of diving to around 1,000 feet for 15 minutes before it needs to get some air. But all of that assumes that the animal is alive. I know what you're thinking. That was a strange turn. But the truth is that the population of Bride's Whales is dropping rapidly due to illegal whaling, pollution of the ocean, and an increase in boat traffic. Sadly, the animal has a history with whalers. In fact, the Bride's Whale was named after Johan Bride, a Norwegian man who set up the first whaling station in South Africa. It's a tragedy that this magnificent animal is being mercilessly hunted. But I've seen enough movies to know that, eventually, the hunter becomes the hunted. Number 6. Amura's Whale the Amura's whale is also known as the dwarf fin whale, a fitting name for one of the smallest whales of its species. The Amura's whale is a baleen whale, and usually measures around 32 and 38 feet in length. By comparison, the biggest baleen whale, the blue whale, measures 102 feet in length, so pretty small. There's actually not much known on the Amura's whale, which will undoubtedly make this a fascinating topic to talk about compared to most whales. The tiny size of these whales, coupled with their preference of deep, tropical waters, makes them incredibly difficult for experts to find. As a result, there's a big gap in information about them. What is known is that the Amura's whale has an asymmetrical jaw, white on one side and dark gray on the left. Experts claim that this is the key identifying factor to locate and spot one of these animals. However, these same experts have also said that they closely resemble a fin whale, so maybe that's not so helpful. The Amura's whale is something of a mystery for many. While we know what it looks like and have some evidence of its existence, there's next to no research out there about it. For all we know, this is just another thing we imagined, like that genie movie starring Sinbad. Number 5. Grey Whale The grey whale is also known as the devilfish. 
Bet you didn't know that, eh? The story goes that whalers once gave them the name due to their aggressive fighting behavior when they're hunted. Who'd have thought that an animal was not interested in being hunted down and killed, eh? The gray whale is the last living species in the genus Eschrichtius, which is also the last living genus in the family Eschrichtidae. So, in a way, this is an incredibly unique animal that should be protected from potential threats it faces around the world. <laughs> Oh, you're loving that, huh? You're loving that, yeah! <laughs> These whales can grow up to 46 feet on average, though some have measured as long as 49 feet. The diet of the gray whale is, frankly, fascinating. As a descendant of the filter-feeding whales that populated the ocean 30 million years ago, they eat pretty much everything. Whether it's amphipods, red crab, larvae, bait fish, they just suck up whatever they find on the floor and chew it down. That's the kind of commitment to food that I admire. The gray whale is found in various areas around the world, but mostly in North America, where the population is stable, and Asia, where the population is considered to be endangered. Still, this devilfish eats well, so I guess you can't complain. Number 4. Common Mink Whale Whales can be found in pretty much every climate and landscape around the world, and the common mink whale is no different. Chances are you could find one of these animals in every single ocean, though they favor the cold polar waters in the north more than any other. The mink whale is one of the smaller whales globally, usually reaching between 22 and 24 feet in length. Because of their teeny tiny size, they came out of the whaling period unscathed. Obviously, whalers had absolutely no interest in becoming fishermen and decided to focus on the big boys. As a result, the mink whale is the most abundant whale species living in our oceans today, with the IUCN labeling it as an animal of least concern. As a result, very few people are even aware of the animal's existence, which is a shame as they're pretty impressive animals. With their torpedo-shaped body and their long flippers, the mink whale doesn't really look like any other. This is an entirely unique animal, albeit one that is often confused for other species. Although, let's be honest, if whalers had even the slightest bit of intelligence, they wouldn't be whalers. Number 3. Arctic Mink Whale Like the other mink whales, the Arctic mink whale is likely grateful for its complete lack of fame. During the height of whaling, the Arctic mink was one of the few whales that managed to be completely overlooked or ignored. And now, thankfully, it's one of the most abundant in the world. The Arctic mink was first described in the mid-19th century, though it wasn't recognized as its own species until the 1990s. By then, the whalers had long ignored the tiny creature, believing it yields very little oil. As a result, the southern hemisphere is blessed with an abundance of thousands of these magnificent whales. The Arctic mink is restricted to the southern hemisphere's cold oceans, but there have been some instances of the species in the North Atlantic. Wherever it is, the Arctic mink is safe from the threat of whalers, but not from the Arctic killer whales, who are known to swallow them whole without a care in the world. How charming! As a species, the Arctic mink keeps to its own groups, largely dining on krill and sticking near its family and friends. After all, this is the Arctic we're talking about. There's no loyalty in sub-zero temperatures outside of family. Number 2. Sperm Whale I imagine most people don't actually know the reason behind the name. They don't look like any kind of sperm, they certainly don't produce it in unusual quantities, which leaves only a handful of options and they're kind of gross. Actually, the sperm whale got its name for a very scientific reason. When this animal was first discovered, scientists believed that the semi-liquid waxy substance found on their head were sperm. Of course, whales don't literally have sex on the brain. That substance is now believed to help sperm whales adjust their diving or rising trajectory by changing their buoyancy. Others think it has something to do with echolocation. Whatever it is, it's not sperm. Probably. Despite the scientific debate on the purpose of that stuff, sperm whales are generally agreed upon to be the largest of the toothed whales, weighing up to 50 tons, the equivalent of 700 people. 
So how do you get that big? Apparently the secret is to be consistently eating. Sounds easy enough. Sperm whales actually eat 3% of their body weight daily, which adds up to 2 tons of food in a single day. I take back the easy thing. I bet I could do it in my sleep. Number 1. Orca it goes without saying that the killer whale, or orca, is one of our most formidable and impressive predators. You know when you see it. That remarkable black and white coloring, the incredible language that they speak, these creatures are, for lack of a better word, stunning. These animals are also one of the few apex predators in the world, meaning there is not a single animal in the ocean that would dare try and attack it. And honestly, why would you? Killer whales famously have a diverse diet, with some feeding exclusively on fish, others hunting down marine animals, others focusing on dolphins or other whales, and some just eating whatever they can find. If you were to attack the wrong one, you may as well just swim right into its open mouth. The orca is also one of the few species that doesn't have an IUCN conservation status. Apparently, the scientists are unable to identify how many types of killer whale there may be, leading to a lack of data. So that's comforting. Wild killer whales don't pose a threat to humans, and there has never been any fatality recorded. On the other hand, captive orcas have been known to kill their handlers, as seen in the documentary Blackfish. Keeping an apex predator in captivity is really just asking for trouble. Which of these cetaceans do you think is most impressive? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!